in this tutorial we will know about shell command so first we will go to a part file and select this plain white we can find this shell command in this edit feature currently it is hidden so I select this extrude boss base select this top plane and draw a center rectangle from this one point center rectangle and OK exit sketch so we have to give it some height we can give it some random height like this and click OK and OK I want to increase this height so select this and select edit feature this height I take some more value to have a better view of this and on this top create another extrude select this extrude top face take a circle on this top ok and then exit sketch and give it the height click ok on this object we can do some fillet operation F select fillet and uh, I want to insert fillet on these edges this edge this edge on this edge also ok do, no, do, not this face edges only select this edges and click ok now after applying this fillet I need a hole in there so to create that hole we can select extrude cut select this top plane this top face on this face draw a circle from the center to this end point click ok exit sketch and direction I take it downward crossing this object and click ok and this is the hole we have created now I select shell and we have to insert the value of thickness of the shell suppose I make this thickness 3 mm press enter and click ok Currently, we see that there is no difference in this model, but we can see the difference after using the section view of this. So, select this section view and select a plane that is selection full plane, front plane, top or right. I select this front plane, and now I can zoom in on this and we see from inside this object is now a shallow object or a type of hollow object there is no material inside the value of thickness is the thickness of this outside material of the surface so I click OK and now we can see this object in a better view now I select this section view to turn off and select this shell and select edit feature in this edit feature we can find some more options such as faces to remove shell properties shell outward or show preview and multi thickness settings first we will know about this faces to remove so click on this box and now we have to select a face suppose I select this bottom face rotate this and select this bottom face and show preview click on this show preview and we can see in this preview that this face we have selected the bottom face is now removed and click OK to have a better view on this and this face is now removed and the object is shell from this bottom face and the thickness value is assigned to the wall or the surface of this object so I select this shell and once again edit feature we can select any other face for this I right click on this and delete suppose this time I select this side face or front face and click OK and from this face it is showing that object is shell so that is the advantage of this face remove shell edit feature we have one more option that is multi thickness setting in this shell we have used 
a constant thickness in all the bodies but we can define variable thickness and variable sections so we just have to select multi thickness face click on this box and select the face suppose i select this face okay select some another face suppose this face and give it some different thickness apart from 3 suppose i give it 5 and click okay so the object of this thickness have different value we can see it is more thicken than the rest of the object so that is the advantage of this multi thickness tool and click ok this way we can use this shell command